Local extremes. After observing graphical direction, we can begin to identify local extremes of a function. Given a function f, we can find a local maximum, c f of c, as long as we can find an interval around c where f of c is the largest output. Similarly, we can find a local minimum, d f of d, as long as we can find an interval around d where f of d is the smallest output. These outputs, f of c and f of d, are called the local extreme values. On the video for graphical direction, we determined that this graph was constant until negative 3, then increasing until 0, then decreasing for the remainder of the shown graph until 2. Since we can find an interval around where x equals 0 so that f of 0, 0, is the largest output, we have local maximum at 0, 0. This graph has a smallest output of about negative 3 on the shown interval, but since there's not an interval where this is smaller than everything else in it, there is no local minimum. You can now spot local extremes on a graph of a function. The definitions you learned in this video could also be applied to functions represented as tables and equations.